Hey Sagittarius, hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. This is the Sagittarius October 2019 general reading. This is not going to resonate with everybody, and if it doesn't, you do not have to let me know. Okay, come back next week or the next time you see the Sagittarius video. Maybe it'll resonate then. Otherwise, there are a lot of wonderful YouTubers out there who can help a sister out okay or oh, brother out Sagittarius men let me know that you're out there so I can read for both men and women if you don't let me know you're out there I don't know you're out there okay this is for Sagittarius Sun moon rising Venus Mars Mercury North Node South Node mid heaven Jupiter anything Uranus if they use that in astrology whatever it is this is for everybody that got Sagittarius any place in their chart now remember the energy can be interchangeable because energy is fluid so I could be picking up on your energy or the energy of your significant other when we do the spread all right when we do the divination it could also pick up on the energy of somebody who's just really important to you it may not be your significant other it may not be you it could be your mama or somebody who you really love who you're picking up who I'm picking up on all right so what I'm gonna do is a pre shuffle kind of let you know what I see just in the pre-shuffle and then we're going to lay out the cards I think I want to use the angel tarot then we're going to lay out the cards and see what's going on for the month for you Sagittarius okay all right page of pentacles somebody else got this I think it was Aries good news regarding money a very sincere offer coming to you in regards to money and some of you could be in school some of you could be studying or you could be teachers you could be teaching school you could be teaching studies some of you could be getting together like a an online class right some of you could have online classes for sale or you could have just invested in an online class. Some of you could be with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn or have this in your chart. Virgo, Virgo Taurus, Capricorn, child could be around you. Some of you could be going to school. But I see a very sincere love offer coming in from some of you, right? Very sincere love offer coming in with somebody who could be just a little immature, right? Uh, judgment. Yeah, you're going to be making some major decisions about how you want to go forward in a relationship with somebody. You're making some final decisions on, like I see you could have got a text, you could have sent a text, you could have sent a message because the, the page of Pentacles is a messenger. And there is something kind of final about some um, information that was sent. The lovers, you could have been communicating with the Gemini. Some of you made some type of final judgment about a, gem a Gemini or you making a final judgment about a product that you're selling, um, some type of advice that you're giving, maybe work that you're doing. You're saying, okay, I can't work this many hours, but I can work this hour. I can't do this, but I can do that. I see you making choices about money. And you're making choices about people who are addicted to you because I do feel like there's an addictive energy around you. Somebody is feeling like they have to have you or that they're extremely sexually attracted to you. You know, the fire signs are very passionate and they exude a lot of sex appeal. And so there are people who are really digging your sex appeal that's around you right now. It could be a Capricorn or it could just people who are feeling you know animalistic like around your energy um, I feel like they are sincere in their attempts but they have somebody has made up their minds that they want you all right this could be somebody that you know or somebody that you don't know but somebody is very resolute about wanting you also there's codependent energy around you all right somebody is needy and clingy and this could be a child though but somebody is real needy and clingy and they want your time and you know Sagittarius how you guys feel about that but somebody wants your time they want your effort they want your energy 
they want um, to be wherever you are. I also see a connection that looks like it's going to be long term. Some of you are in long term connections with the devil himself, right? Could have Capricorn in their chart, but somebody is toxic and they're around you. Look, we got the moon. Not only are they talk of toxic, but they got some psychiatric issues jumping off. This card is related to the Pisces card, but it's also related to the Cancer card, but it's just stamped in my mind that it's Pisces. It could be Pisces or Cancer. So Cancer um, is ruled by the moon, and that could just be talking about um, somebody being premenstrual, or maybe you're just emotional right now. But if the Piscean influence is here, somebody's a little off. OK, this is the card that can come up sometimes with serial killers, you know, in Spanish, moon is Luna and Luna is short for lunatic. All right. So some of you could be dealing with somebody that has some psychiatric issues that if you push them a certain kind of way, they can really kind of go off the deep edge. This could be you, Sagittarius, too. Somebody can go off the deep edge and it doesn't take too much, but it could be this person that you're dealing with that has this devil energy around you where they're like just deeply attracted to you, deeply attached to you, and they just don't want to let you go. All right. The high priestess, some of you could have somebody on the side that you're dealing with. OK, that could definitely be a Pisces or a Sagittarius, um, Leo um, or uh, Aries that you're dealing with. Some of you are married. Some of you are definitely dealing with the v, uh, a Leo. Right. But I really feel like. Somebody just has a toxic dependency on you. They feel like they need you, that they they have to be around you, and they don't want to see life without you. And the thought of you leaving would be such a disturbance that I don't think this person could handle it. So I feel like for some of you, you're in a very permanent relationship with someone who is not going to let you go. And... That's what I'm kind of sensing. Now, others of you who are not in a relationship, I just kind of feel like there are some people who are very dependent on your work or dependent on what you do. Like I said, some of you could be readers and the devil could be coming up. Um, there could be a Libra that is around you right now. Some of you could be having legal issues that you need to deal with. Some of you could be married to this person who is very dependent upon you. The King of Pentacles, you're at the top of your game financially. Some of you could work in the blue collar field or your significant other works in the blue collar field or uh, some of you are just going to be on the top of your game financially and mentally and spiritually. You're just going to have it together, having your products together, your business together. And people see you as a king with what it is that you do. Some of you could be letting go of a job or letting go of something in your workplace that no longer works for you. You could be distancing yourself from a Libra, Gemini or an Aquarius. Okay. Um, I see a Libra, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius friend that is around you, Four of Wands. I feel like you guys are going to work your friendship out, all right? I see stability around a friendship with a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. I also see uh, Aries influence in your experience. You might have cut yourself off from an Aries. I saw the King of Swords, but a fire sign, anybody. Yeah, I see you not in communication with someone, but I feel like you guys are going to work it out because both of you want to work it out. You guys are just going through some challenges right now, but it feels like you guys just need to learn how to give and take with each other, right? I do feel like something comes to an end or something has come to an end, maybe with an Aries, Sagittarius, uh, Sagittarius, uh, Leo, right? Um... Yeah, something came to an end with the fire sign. But um, I feel like determination, with determination, you guys, I feel like you're going to just let it go to an end and just refocus your energy on your work and really producing some real quality work. Somebody makes a final decision about somebody from the past and then they depart, okay? Okay. 
and that's okay because I feel like you're getting ready to be really emotionally satisfied and emotionally happy with what's getting ready to transpire in your life. So one person you're going to say goodbye to, but then there's another person that's very emotionally dependent upon you who doesn't want to let this relationship go. So there could be multiple offers around you, Sagittarius. Multiple offers around you. I see friendships around you as well. All right, so let's take a look, Sagittarius, at the month of October for you. I see you getting a lot of attention. I see you working a lot of different projects, working long hours. Some of you are relocating. Some of you are flying out to meet friends. Some of you are putting down. Some of you need an assistant. You like you really need some help. You're working too hard. So last week we had the Ace of Cups. Some of you could have met somebody new with the Two of Michaels that you had a meeting of the minds with. This week we have the Knight of Raphael. I mean the Knight of Ariel with the world. So I feel like there's a you're going to be trying to accomplish a lot. And somebody is making a very detailed plan about what they need to do and how they're going to move forward. And I see you being watched over by a guardian angel. This could be your pa a mother who's passed away, a relative who's passed away. But I feel like somebody is coming into your space, or this could be your energy that's trustworthy, understanding, devoted, and funny. I see some type of happy ending this week. I see you coming full circle, and there's going to be some spiritual growth and insight. Let's clarify that. Sagittarius. But you could have met somebody, ooh, the Empress, a Libra or a Taurus. I definitely feel like you're going to be coming into, ooh, the Wheel of Fortune, Jesus. So I feel like there's going to be uh, a mother energy that could be around you really soon. Um, you could be having a baby. Or I feel like there's, there's going to be some progress with a home or real estate, selling a home or getting a home appraised. But let's just clarify this. Yeah. I see something could have taken off romantically for those of you who are single last month, last week. Last week, there could have been a meeting of the minds with somebody who's in your life that you that's your significant other. But I feel like this week there might not be a meeting of the minds. OK, things might be a little stagnant this week, but I feel like the stagnation is going to be over with and you guys are going to move into some level of commitment. So I feel like some of you have met someone that you're going to move into a level of commitment with. OK, but this week you guys still could be ironing out where this is going and how are you going to get there. All right. October 1st, the week of October 1st. Let's see what we have. October 1st, the week of October 1st. October 1st, the week of October 1st. God, please give me very clear messages for Sagittarius. All right. So you guys are going to stop spying on somebody uh, the first week of October. You might have done a lot of readings on someone, but I feel like you're going to stop spying on someone. All right. Yeah, I see there's going to be a healing. Uh, there's going to be such a strong healing emotionally and spiritually for you that you are going to be able to to stop spying on someone and somebody could start spying on you as you stop spying on them. This could be an Aquarius, a Libra, a Gemini, but I feel like you, I see somebody is researching, trying to find out information, but with the Ace of Swords here for me, it stops. And instead, so instead, like you're going to stop spying on someone that it's not going to uh, work out with. Like you're not going to spend your time um, trying to make it work with someone that it's not going to work out with. But I feel like these are two different energies that I'm picking up on. So you could be putting it down with one energy and picking it up with another energy. But whatever the case is, the first week of October is going to feel very spiritual. You're going to, some of you are going to be doing your life's work. 
or you're going to be doing work that really matters to you, work that's very significant to you. The second week of October, we have the King of Ariel with the Seven of... Um, a lot of you are going to be doing multiple things to make money come to you. And in the second week of October, those multiple uh, ways for money to come to you are going to be plentiful. Money, I see you being successful, stable, accomplished, and powerful. Also, the second week of, sept of October can bring stability in a romantic situation for those of you who just met someone or those of you who are dating. Those of you who are in committed relationships, I see stability in this, yeah, strong stability around the second week of October. Whether this is stability with your family or whether this is stability with your friends. Okay, I definitely feel strong commitment or strong levels of stability around the second week of October and different ways in which money is going to come in. I also see a, a, a Virgo. Taurus or um, Capricorn here. I see a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn here that you might be working things out with. The third week of October, I see you using your intuition and getting exactly what you want from like not moving beyond what your instinct is saying and allowing your instincts to guide you. OK, I feel like people come to you for answers. So a lot of you could be readers. I feel like if you have a reading business, it's really going to flourish the third week of October. Um, like you may, if you're a reader, have a lot of views the third week of October. So a lot of you are just going to be getting ready for Halloween. Um, but I feel like as a result of you paying attention to your instincts, following your instincts, the third week of October is going to give you some type of dream that you really wanted to come true. Yeah, like you're going to be feeling, you are going to start feeling better. Not that you're not, I don't see you feeling bad now. The energy feels so-so, but I see really good energy that's going to start coming the, when the sun gets into Scorpio. Again, you're another one that's going to be affected very positively by the sun being in Scorpio could be that you're so close to Scorpio, you know. And the fourth week shows you traveling. Maybe um, somebody is going to... I see somebody coming into your business giving you some type of offer. I see maybe a lot of messages, a lot of comments. If you have a website, um, a lot of different... Uh, People want your, your services. One, one part of your services is going to be exploding. The other part is not going to be as explosive, but money will come in from that part if that's what you're doing. Okay. I also feel like um, some of you could be traveling with a child. Traveling to go see a child. Otherwise, I feel like there will be... Um, the last week of October, you're going to be taking a lot of action. And I feel like you could be relocating or getting used to having already relocated. I also feel like um, you're going to be taking a lot of action in your life. And I feel great passion that you're going to have. You're going to be very passionate about something that you're doing in your life. Um, and I feel like some of you could be still involved with this person here that I see. This is something that could go hot and cold. Not everybody is going to be involved with someone. But I do feel like a good majority of you are. I feel like by the third week of October, you're going to be really happy in your life. All right. All right. Let's take a look at how your person is viewing you. How your person is viewing you. All right, Sagittarius, how your person, oh, the five of Michael, wow, somebody feels defeated, left out in the cold, and they, somebody feels like some situation doesn't serve them, or that you feel like a situation with them doesn't serve you. 
they feel like you guys gossip, you guys gossip about each other, or that you say harsh things. They're trying to release the attachment to the outcome here. And your person is viewing you as someone who's taking a more uplifting approach about a very uh, sad situation. Because you're an optimist. You're the eternal optimist, you know. The moon, they're viewing you as somebody who they are afraid to lose. Let's see what we have here. Let me pull all these cards out. They think you might have somebody else. They feel like you're still attached to somebody from your past. Any sign, really. Your person views you as somebody who has somebody on the side. Yeah, they view you as somebody who loves them, but that you're building a relationship with three people. And that's how you want it. Your person views you as someone who is making them an option. And that's what I see, Sagittarius. That's how they're viewing you as somebody who's making them an option right now. Let's see what else I can get from this. Yeah, they feel like, yeah, they somebody feels like you're not being committal. They feel like um, you have somebody else. And it kind of bothers them. And they also feel like you're being kind of self-serving in regards to getting to know them. They want to win, though. They really like you. They want, they want victory in this situation with you. They like you. But they're wondering if they should leave this alone because you have somebody on the side or something. Um, yeah. Your person views you as definitely having somebody on the side. And I'm not getting anything else from this. So in the extension, we'll ask, does Sagittarius have somebody on the side? Because somebody most certainly feels like they do. And then we'll also ask um, how this person feels about you. How do they feel about the relationship? What do they want to say to you but just can't say? What their next actions are going to be and the outcome? If you want to get the extended version of this video, it will be in both the top of the comment section and in the description box. It will be a link that says click below for a Sagittarius Love Extended Video. You can click it and you can go to Vimeo, my website, or Patreon. I'm at Patreon now, right? All of the October videos are on Patreon and you can get that at $22 a month or you can get the $44 a month. Um, tier which will allow you to have both the monthly videos and you will also have the um, the weekly videos that I do with the Tarot Charmer. Also you can have all access to all of the videos that I do at my website for $49.99. Okay. All right. So Sagittarius, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like the videos and come back or you don't have to come back because it's available right now. Click for the extension video so you can see more about you. Really? How somebody feels about you and what's going on in their mind regarding you. Okay? All right, Sag. I hope you enjoyed your videos. Thanks for watching. God bless.